Good morning, it's Tuesday, February 15th. I am still so tired from Super Bowl, Valentine's Day party, all that. So anyways, it's another busy, busy day in third grade, so let's get to it. All right, it is the end of the day. I just got out to my car. What, it was just a day. Um, first of all, just day after Valentine's Day, so I was tired, they're tired. Then we had our first day of ice skating, which a lot of them have never ice skated. It's very cool that our PE teachers do that. I think it's great. They can bring their own skates. We have a ton that they can borrow. So the teachers, we go over, we ask for a lot of, like a lot of parents came to help to tie their skates and find skates that fit them. So we got over there because we have fired right away in the morning. So we started, we got to the warming house at about 8.30. And at 9 o'clock, finally, all the kids had skates and that were tied. So I got to go back for a quick little bit of prep. Had to be back there at 9.30 to pick them up. Um, almost all my kids, I think, had a lot of fun. The ones who had never skated, it went pretty well for them. So that's fun. We do it for the next two days. So it's just fun seeing their confidence build and then become more excited for it and to try something new because we live in winter you gotta have those winter things or winter activities that you can look forward to so it's fun that they get introduced to ice skating if they haven't done it before so we came back after that we had a read aloud um through the minnesota department of agriculture ag in the classroom they do um they had one of uh, the minnesota vikings players read a book about how um milk gets turned into cheese and then we got to do q a so some kids got from my class got chosen to ask them some questions so that was fun after that we took a walking field trip to the ice palace in our town which is harvested from the ice on the frozen lake i'll put some pictures of that here so that was again it was fun but it was so cold on the walk there the wind was going um the walk there the wind was right in our face the wind was like directly blowing at us it was freezing on the way there but we got down into like the pavilion warmed up we got to take our class picture by the ice palace they have an ice maze we got to go into the, like the warm air the building that's down there in um someone from the county museum then taught us about the history of ice harvesting and talked about why they did harvest the ice and just kind of the tools they used had some for them to look at so that was a lot of fun by the time we got back it was we warmed up quick went to lunch then they went outside for recess and again it wasn't very warm today so it kind of felt bad because they were outside a lot but a lot of them i had told them to bring multiple pairs of gloves um hats gloves and even socks for today since we would be skating and then the ice palace <sighs> and then when they got back in from recess i started out of my mind and they were tired i was tired so we i just I'm like where there's no way we're gonna get any math done and they're not gonna be listening so i just said we're just gonna relax i put on a movie and then i had a meeting for um like a fontes Pinal word study training it's four tuesdays in a row so that was at three so someone came to cover my room anyways at three so i just let them have some free time at the end of the day until it was time for them to leave so kind of a whirlwind of a day but it was it was fun it was a lot of fun a lot of good times but it was just was windy a little cold yeah but no, I'm off. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go to both Menards and Walmart. Menards, I might buy a toilet just because my one in the basement doesn't stop running and I've had it turned off. And like the repair kits are like 20 bucks and I feel like they're, I've heard they're like a hassle to like actually install and it might not even fix your problem. And like a new toilet's like $90. So I feel like I just buy a new toilet. So that's what I'm gonna do, I think. And then I also wanna buy curtains for that spare bedroom at Walmart. And then we're gonna go home and try to put these things in. So let's see how this goes. How did curtains fit cost more than a toilet?
All right, curtain time. Okay, one set done. It might be a tiny bit crooked, but also I feel like the window's crooked. Like, I'm holding my phone steady and that's going like that. So, either way, it's good enough for who it's for. Maybe at some point in my life when I haven't spent literally more money on curtains than a toilet, why are curtains so expensive? I'll get a second panel for there, but we're gonna stick with one, because guess what? It will do its job. So, one more going over there. And then in this room, I did have to get two since it's the double windows. But yeah, good enough. All right, all the curtains are up. I got my uncle's bed ready, so comforter, little bed skirt, some pillows. Look at me being a hostess. And we got these curtains up as well. So we are ready for my family to come up. I feel like curtains were necessary because I hate seeing light when I sleep. So I just assume that's how everybody is and wants blackout curtains. So that's what I did. All right, it's like eight o'clock. I just, my door dash, I just heard them knock. So I'm gonna go eat dinner, call the night and watch a little Olympics while I edit this. So thanks for coming along for, and me and you weren't along for the field trip. You got to hear about it and see a couple pics. And now for this journey of getting a new toilet and curtains. See you next time. Bye.